What's up, boys? How you guys doing? So I did something really foolish again. <laughs> so back in the day, I made this video, okay? Then about a month later, it kind of blew up. And then I kept seeing videos like these ones, and these ones, and now there's a series of this one. <laughs> oh, and this one. Bikes and beers made those videos. I'm gonna keep up with the times. <laughs> Anyway, delivery should be happening pretty soon of the most average priced bike on Amazon. Oh, here it is. I actually moved, I gotta move the Camaro. I'm excited, dude. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good time. Good day for delivering packages, huh? <laughs> At least it's not raining too hard right now. <laughs> yeah, if you just want to bring it all the way back, that's perfect. You need a signature from me? Yes. I'm excited, man. Thank you no so problem. much. Appreciate it. No problem. All right, boys. I'm the new proud owner of the most average priced sport bike from Amazon. <laughs> yes, yeah, so when I saw Bikes and Beers video, it was like cheapest Amazon motorcycle. Most expensive Amazon motorcycle. I want to keep up with the times. I am not going to be left behind. So today I bought the most average motorcycle on Amazon. I'm actually kind of excited about it. So let's get this going. I mean, it's a 125cc air-cooled engine, so I'm not expecting much, but still, man, pretty good commuter, I'm assuming. So let's get this thing out of the box and let's get going. I'm also fairly certain that this box comes with coronavirus in it, so I'm gonna deeply inhale, build my immunity. It came pre-sneezed on from the China factories. All right, I'm just gonna do this the good old fashioned way. <laughs> oh yeah, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. Come on, man. John C. How about that? That actually looks pretty dope. <laughs> oh, nice big panel gaps here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking like a $1,000 bike from China. <laughs> yeah. Same exact plastic as my other Chinese bike. This bike's gonna run for a long time, huh? <laughs> oh boy, this, this little bracket here, they actually bolted straight onto the triple tree. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of maintenance on it when it stops raining. But overall though, I'm really impressed. It looks good. It looks pretty good. There's some stuff I definitely have to assemble myself, of course. Like, of course, the battery's not connected straight from that factory. Uh, turn signal wasn't bolted in as well. Of course they can't because, you know, box. Clip-on handlebars are loose, of course, to fold them in. Exhaust pipe, it kind of looks like a tweaker tried to like spray paint it himself with flat black so we'll probably end up cutting this off and putting something better on overall though i'm actually pretty impressed the exact same structure as my other chinese bike and i like the style i gotta gotta say i like the style so i'm not disappointed do i wish that it had more like hefty like heavy duty feel to it like yamaha's hondas and all those other good ones yeah <laughs> but for the price you can literally not complain for something like this and this here is actually street legal as well in California. So that's pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. Can't really do too much until the rain dies down. So I thought now's as good a time as any to show you guys the Amazon listing and everything for the bike. But first I do want to say the virus is still going strong and places are starting to shut down. And a lot of people are out of work right now. A lot of people are sitting at home. So I figure now's as good a time as any to put out some content for you guys. Um, I will be burning the candle at both ends. I have a new channel a lot of you guys have seen and some of you guys have subscribed to since I got hacked. Um, I had to start a new channel, but I'm gonna be putting more content on there. There's a lot of stuff that you guys haven't seen that I've done. So go subscribe to that if you guys wanna see more. And there's gonna be more on this channel too. It is a stressful time right now for a lot of people um, being out of work and most people it's not a paid leave. So it's a really weird time for everybody. Anyway, let's jump on Amazon and show you guys what I got. I bought this laptop from China, by the way. Pretty dope laptop, $300 or something. Okay, so here is the motorcycle. It's called the X-Pro 125cc motorcycle, adult motorcycle, gas motorcycle, dirt motorcycle, street bike, motorcycle bike, full assembled. 
It's for $1,299 plus $239 of shipping. All said and done, my order was $1,661.69. And that was to my door. But yeah, and so far I'm really impressed. I haven't seen much of it, but just looking at it from the box, I'm pretty impressed. The engine looks really good quality. The build, the like fairings and the frame and everything are basically the exact same as my Chinese, oh, <laughs> as my Chinese electric sport bike, which is not anything impressive. It's just a frame. <laughs> but the engine actually looks pretty high quality. But yeah, so that's it. If you guys wanna check it out yourself, there is a link in the description and see more of the specs on it. I won't bore you in this video with all that stuff, but so far, cool bike. But we'll test it more when the rain dies down, hopefully today. This motorcycle is a 125cc. <laughs> it's like a full-on, full-size sport bike, but it's a 125cc motorcycle. <laughs> so I think they said the top speed is 55 miles per hour, depending on rider weight and blah 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 that kind of stuff i'm gonna be on like a fully fared sport bike i'm just gonna make brrr. for sixteen hundred dollars though i'm pretty impressed so far i haven't heard it yet um but from what i've seen it looks like it's a decent running bike and people are having a lot of fun on it but i'm just excited to get it out on the road i know i still have to fill out the registration forms and ship them back to the company and the dmv will send those back to me um so that's all to be determined and, and worked out in the next couple days. Right when you click order and you submit the order for the bike, they call you, the company calls you. They had to get my information. They had to get, um, for registration, because I'm in California, they had to get my payment method to pay for registration before they ship the bike. So we did that all on the phone and they said, great, all right, then you're, the truck driver is going to call you 30 minutes or so prior to delivery, which should be on Monday is what they told me, which is today. And that's exactly how it went. He just called me um, not too long ago before he delivered the bike, and here it is. So very easy process. Very, very, very easy process. I mean, it's Amazon, it should be so. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Again, there's gonna be a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Pretty sweet looking bike, and for $1,600, I'm not gonna complain, but if you guys wanna check out the specs and everything, there is a link in the description if you wanna look more into it yourself. All right, well, it's not raining anymore. It is the next day. Gingy Moto's here helping me film this thing. And so let's actually get this thing taken out of the, the box. Last night it was raining pretty hard so this box is all kinds of messed up. Okay, this is actually, this is pretty decent. All right, so this, yeah. So they, I need to find something to get that bolt off. They put it right onto the triple, triple tree stem. Oh my gosh. The engine's mad. It's not oh, the tent is on the back table. I'll go grab it. Why is everything on the back table? Because we're working on a Chinese bike back there. It's all the same thing. Electric huh? bike. Yeah, check out this. So it is like the exact same build as this bike. I know it's hard to see because the fairings aren't on it, but you can see like the back end here, the fender is the exact same. No difference in the fender, but. So we'll go back to the other one, I'll show you. It's the exact same, exact same build. All right, well, so far it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty impressed at this point. I still need to see how it runs, but, and looks like it's a decent bike for $1,600. I'm not complaining yet. It hasn't rusted since last night, so <laughs> that's a good sign. Going for a sponsorship? Going for a sponsorship, because <laughs> 5150 won't sponsor me, so. Maybe Monster will. <laughs> but yeah, you can, sell, you can definitely see exact same rear end as the Chinese electric bike. Exact same rear end. Turn signals are a little bit different. But that's literally it. Everything else is the exact same as the electric one that I bought. The engine looks like a little 125cc. Doesn't look like anything too special there. But it's a gas saver. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm just going to grab some. Watch out. Go smooth. Ninja. Yeah. Ninja. Yes? Bye. Are you leaving me? Yeah. 
I never liked you. I never liked you. So alive, make it last forever. Stop inside. Oh, I just got shin checked. <laughs> nah, you're good. All right. Boom. All right. Oh, that's a stiff kickstand. Whew. That looks like it's a, that's a hard lead. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they, I mean, they know you're not going to be dragging me besides this, so figured they'd give you something. That, that looks like a pretty cool bike right there. Well, my initial impressions here, decent looking bike, really decent looking bike. It's nothing special. Plastic is definitely cheap. Uh, the muffler, oh my gosh. Don't even get me started on the muffler. That is... Yeah, that's just bad. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to chop that off for something short. This sounds a little better. That's pretty much it though. We just gotta take all the plastic off on everything and then it's all set. It's all set. Let's see what it feels like. Ooh, I like the position. The throttle's a little bit loose right at the top, but the pull feels decent. Definitely a little loose though. Brakes feel good. Clutches, eh. <laughs> Need to adjust it, definitely. That's pretty much it. So what we need to do now is just tighten the chain, or we need to loosen the chain, um, and then probably check oil. I don't know if I'll change the oil or not right off the bat. Plug the battery in, but it should be ready to, ready to go after that. Got the owner's manual. In English, for the right bike-ish, is it? Uh, yeah, it's definitely not the right bike there. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, not the right bike so far. Probably same engine, that's why they threw it in, but we'll just go with the old fashioned method, Just check everything <laughs> and just assume it's all good and start it up and rip it around. Situation right now is this, the um, whatever the frick is called, I really don't care right now. It needs to shift down like that so this can go down so this won't hit. The thing is, is they stripped out the screw to tighten on this clutch side, whatever the crap this is, controls. They stripped that out and I can't get that out. Literally from the factory. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. It's always stuff like this, man. Like, got it. Yeah. Got it. Read the good old fashioned user manual. Operation, page 11. Clearly different bike. Fuel tank, use petrol 90 or above. What? It says 90 and above. I do not, I do not buy that. I do not buy that. We're gonna put 87 in here right now. Well, where's, can you just siphon it out of one of your other bikes? They don't use 90 or above. Really? All the other bikes, Honda, all those kind of, it's just 87. Well, you know, these Amazon bikes are high quality, so. Clearly, yeah, they're way more high performance. This is a racing machine after all. Yeah, it's an Amazon bike, I don't give a crap. We're just gonna fill it just enough, just enough. Just enough to get to the gas station and put 91 in. <laughs> exactly. Put some, put some go fuel in here and ripper. All right, if that don't do it, I don't know what would. That'll get us a whole, probably 200 miles on one tank, think. Yeah, for sure. 200 miles. Little 125 like My this. My old lawnmower did more than that, so I'm assuming this is about the same. All right. Well, let's start her up, see what she does. Make sure this uh, fuel thing is on. They don't label these, though. I can't tell if it's on or off, the fuel. I'll just put on some trip. Maybe I didn't fill it quite enough, but that could be a problem. Well, you remember in a Bikes and Beards vi video. Bikes and Beards? To, yeah, he had to crank it over for like two minutes straight before. Oh, it, did he? Yeah. That's just bad for the starter right there. Yeah. 
I found something. There has been a, there has been a, 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 a whatever you call it. That's open right there. Development. Been a development. Oh, the carburetor has its own petcock on it. So there's a petcock that goes from the tank right here, then there's a petcock on the carburetor as well. That's whack. It needs to be in the Chinese on that. position. But you have to remember, see, they're on the other side of the world, so everything's probably upside down. Oh, that's actually probably true. So it needs to be opposite, exactly opposite. And I did notice the engine's like this, it should be like this. It's probably because they're on the other side of the world. They just design yeah. it to be completely different. Yeah, they just don't know how to put an engine in. Gravity's probably different over there too, actually. I'll bet you it is, they probably jump higher. Yeah. <laughs> this is a new level of stupid. So we're not getting fuel to start this thing. That's the only problem. If you come in here, look at this. This hose, the fuel line, it is completely twisted and that's like really bad for the hose. I'm gonna get something to get that off. That's crazy. Wow. This something else. Okay, fuel might shoot everywhere. They should have tested this before sending it, right? Smells like gas. This hose is completely creased though. I think I'm gonna have to chop a section of it off. Never seen something like that before. That is the worst quality control I've ever seen. This is the kind of stuff that I didn't want to do on a new motorcycle. Okay, so we got that figured out. All the way down is on. That's probably reserves. Don't kink it. All right, so right there, this should be filling the fuel filter. Does it have oil? Yeah, it has got oil. It's not an oil problem. It's just not getting fuel. Everything is running. It's just not getting fuel. I'm looking at the gauge right now for the fuel level. It wouldn't surprise me if it the fuel level didn't even work. All right, crazy. I, re I really doubt it's going to, but we'll give it a shot. I'll give it a little bit of choke here. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Hey, it started though, hey. See which way's choke. That way's choke. Crank it. That doesn't sound half bad though. Well, it sounds half bad. It doesn't sound more than three fourths bad. <laughs> Something's vibrating. Ah, oh, it's this. That sounds like crap. <laughs> Fender eliminator kit. I know. It's gonna necessary. have to happen. All right, that's no choke right there. All right, well, I'm just gonna let it warm up. Might as well just let it. You wanna talk about what the problem was? Oh, yeah. So, the problem was it wasn't getting fuel. I don't know why. Um, there was clearly a huge kink in the line right when we started, but we got that solved, and then it was open line until the carburetor. The only problem that we couldn't figure out was what way was the petcock was open or closed, because it's all in Chinese, so it doesn't say on, off, or reserve like normal bikes do that we're used to. Um, but once we got that worked out, we just had to pull the ends of the hoses off. Then I checked the bowl, see if the bowl of the carburetor was full and it was getting fuel and it just started up. So we solved that. We just had to pull some oh, hoses off. off yeah, it's a new bike. It should. All right. Well, we finally got it running. Finally, um, after some things, I changed the oil in it. Um, then I had to adjust the clutch and the clutch cable. It was definitely not adjusted, so when I put it in gear, it just kill itself. Uh, so we had to adjust that. There's adjustment right here and one in the middle. So I adjusted both of them, now it's perfect. Um, but everything works. So here's like the turn signals, high beam, low beam, uh, the running lights you can also turn on. I don't know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. I also just tuned the idle. It was idling too high, so I just adjusted the idle screw out a bit. And it's, it's purring now, it's really good. We adjusted the chain as well, so that's um, how it should be for riding. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're ready for our first ride right now. So let's do it. I'm just gonna do a short little one. We still have to do workout like registration, title and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but other than that, other than getting registration stuff, we're gonna do a short ride this video, but that's pretty much it until I get it plated. It is street legal in California, so I'm so happy about that. The other, Chinese bike, the Bash and Moto Max 250. It's not California legal, so it's kind of hard to justify keeping it. It's a good dirt bike, but this is street legal, so I'm excited about that.
jogging a little bit. Yeah, it's not, it's not very happy right now. I mean, could it be out of gas? Yeah, it's probably just out of gas, I don't know. Seems like it should be fine though. It's running better now that I changed the screw a little bit more. All right, let's try it again. Seems like it's a little happier now. It's very vibratey. It vibrates a lot. <laughs> I keep hearing weird sounds. Jinji Moto's right, the steering is uh, not perfectly straight here. Oh yeah, fourth is the final gear. What am I hearing? I'm gonna do myself a favor. Go ahead and check. What am I hearing? Chain tension still fine. Everything seems fine. Any noise that I was hearing was coming from the front. This all seems fine. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go home for now. <laughs> Straighten out the steering, get everything all worked out. Hmm. This may be a bit inconclusive though, so yeah, we'll see what we can do. Let's just get it home. And while the engine's breaking in, you can see I've ridden less than half a mile. Um, they say don't go over like 30 something miles per hour. So yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. But let's get home. Sorry this was such a short ride, guys. It's always like this, just trying to iron out the bugs. Maybe I'll do a longer ride next video or just soon. Overall though, this bike is actually not bad. It vibrates a lot. <laughs> um, it could just be a tuning issue on my end, but I think it's just because it's the cheap plastics and everything that just vibrates the crap out of it. But yeah, let's let's uh, let's keep keep breaking it in. You can hear that. I mean, you guys can hear that. <laughs> it just vibrates. It definitely does need to get tuned a little bit better too. It's, I'm not gonna say this is perfect. This is definitely not a super good first run, you know? Definitely needs to be tuned. Not bad though. smooth pretty smooth not bad mechanically it runs great transmission engine runs really well yeah overall first impressions not too bad not too bad at all for $1,600 brand new motorcycle like this I'm not gonna complain The first test, especially on a brand new engine, you never know how it's gonna go. And unfortunately this time, steering wasn't straight. <laughs> I was hearing some weird noises and uh, just vibrated a lot. So I'm gonna tune, straighten out the steering 
and just do whatever else I have to do. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This bike really impresses me for the price. Again, it was $1,660 and some change shipped to my door. Um, it did not come without its difficulties and its challenges. Um, again, we had some really weird, sketchy quality control issue things like the fuel line being completely bent and creased. There were some other things too, odds and ends, clutch was not adjusted anywhere close to where it should have been. Um, but other than those small issues, if you're a guy who can work that kind of stuff out on your own, that's not a big deal. We got this running in a couple hours once it was out of the box. But this bike fires up like right away. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna do that again. This bike did start really quick. <laughs> come, on, come on, gas. Come on, give me something. Okay. Yeah, I just had a kill switch on. <laughs> I've been riding for years, guys. Been riding for years. <laughs> but yeah, very nice running bike. But since it is Chinese, it does have its classic like shake, like vibration sound. Anyway. Anyway, guys, again, there's a link in the description if you want to check this out. This was on Amazon. Bikes and beers, you can freaking bite me if you don't like this video. Comment below, I will roast you. You will not steal any more of my video series, okay? That's just how it's going to be. Just letting you know from here on out. If I see anything from you guys copying my series, there's going to be a problem. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out.